the last day of school for some weeks, perhaps even a few months. I was up at Kilimanjaro Primary School this morning for the last assembly, for a, at least for the moment. And what a wonderful occasion, full of energy and excitement, determination to make the very best of new and, and difficult circumstances. Of course, if you're anything like me as uh, a student, as a school pupil, I was always daydreaming, hoping that exams would be cancelled because I knew I was never properly prepared. And the thought of uh, a few weeks, well, many extra weeks of not being at school would have seemed very exciting indeed. But the reality is that this is a serious time, serious for our pupils, our students who are left up in the air, they've lost the structure of the school day, uh, they just love being at school, meeting friends, learning new things, just having fun. Uh, for some of our more vulnerable pupils, uh, school is an absolutely vital building block that uh, just holds up uh, their week, that is the buttress for their daily lives. Students sitting in exams are no doubt wondering about all the studying that they've been doing, the essays that they've written, the mock exams that they've taken, wondering whether their knowledge, their efforts are going to be properly assessed in a way that truly reflects where they are in their studies. And for senior pupils and students, of course, this affects getting into college or university or job prospects. Really difficult time and pretty stressful for teachers, for lecturers, um, uh, this is equally uh, a, a tough time. Uh, preparing packs for students and pupils to take home, uh, getting set up for virtual teaching, and of course trying to support uh, all pupils, to nurture them, even although this is going to have to be done virtually uh, for the next while. So everyone's a bit stressed. Some people are worried, and uh, even though the sun is shining and it's a, it's a beautiful day out there, uh, we're not going to be able to do all the things that we once did as youngsters, getting out and about, playing games, meeting friends, going to the cinema, going to the swimming pool. These things just are not going to happen. So we need to be praying and supporting our youngsters. Uh, but as I said, having been at Kilimanjaro Primary School, I am in absolutely no doubt that school communities are going to come through this, and they'll probably come through it stronger. There is uh, an expectation that uh, um, although this will be a testing time, that new things will be learned, new, new skills, new ways of doing and of uh, being. I uh, came across these words from Proverbs, Proverbs 3, 5 to 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek his will in all you do, and he will show you which path to take. I guess for many of our young people, this might be the first time when they've realized that life really does not run on uh, tram lines. There are bumps, there are details, there are sometimes derailments, and the odd dead-end siding as well. Uh, our schools are, are really big on, on teaching pupils and students resilience, how to deal with the difficulties of life, the uncertainties, the uh, unexpected. Uh, and that is so important, uh, so important, a wonderful life skill to have. But for those of us who follow Jesus, uh, we know that uh, the resilience that we have is not limited to us. It's not restricted to who we are and what we can be. It is opened up, it is transformed, it is magnified, amplified by the knowledge that in all things God is with us. As we trust in him with all our hearts, as we uh, use our intellects, our rational minds, but we seek real understanding of the world and everything in it, our lives from God as we seek his will, knowing that even if we don't understand, his will is always best. It's always the most loving, the kindest, the most gracious. It is the one from which hope and joy flow, and he will show us which path to take. So, so let's see if we can share that with our youngsters, be non-anxious presences in their lives. 
Help them to see the big picture, uh, to look beyond the next few months or even the next year or so. But let's also allow them to give us energy and hope, show us how to have fun, how to see the world in childlike, not childish, but childlike ways that feed our souls and bring joy to our hearts. And above all, let's include God in this time. Learn new things. Learn new ways of relating to him and to one another. He will show us which path to take. Let's pray together. Lord God, wisdom is yours. Understanding flows from you. Your will is always the best for every one of us. We want to trust you with all of our hearts. Lord God, clear away the things that are holding us back. May your spirit flow into our lives and from us into those around us, our families and friends and our communities so that we can be non-anxious presences. People who have a still center because we're holding tight to you. Our trust is invested in you and we know that you are always there to show us which path to take. We pray for our young people, our children, pupils and students. Be with them in this time of uncertainty. Settle anxieties about exams and assessments. And for all teachers, for all school, college, university staff, we pray that you will give them deep joy and satisfaction in nurturing, supporting, and caring for our young people, even if it is, if it is from a distance, even if it is not face-to-face. -face. Lord God, we trust in you. Show us the paths to take. In Jesus' name, amen.